Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we're going to be doing some skill building again today to discover what we unlock as we progress through each level of the skill and today we're doing handiness. So today we're playing with my sim Melissa. I'm actually quite excited about this because I've dabbled in repairing things or upgrading things but I've barely scratched the surface really with the handiness skill. So it'd be good to see all the things we unlock and also this skill kind of has two elements to it. You've got upgrading things in your home, but you also have woodworking as well. So this is our home, aka our workspace. It's pretty, pretty small. I haven't given much to get distracted by. We've got a little woodworking table out there. Currently, we haven't even gained our first level in handiness. So apparently when you're at handiness level one, all you can really do is salvage parts from scrap piles and craft either a knife block or a horse sculpture. So, so let's kick this off by crafting a knife block. And I'm pretty sure by the time we do that, we'll unlock level two of the handiness skill. I literally had a quick skim online to find out what I can expect from each level. And there is so much stuff that I don't even think we're gonna be able to do it all. But I do want to fully upgrade everything I have in the house. So all of the plumbing stuff, the radio, the TV, the kitchen appliances, I want to upgrade them to the point where they, they can't have anything else done to them. Just to see how much easier it makes life for my sims, you know? Oh, there we go. We've acquired the handiness Aww. skill. Oh, well done. We made our knife block. We haven't got to handiness level two, though, so why don't we make a horse sculpture as well? And then maybe I'll put our knife block on display. Oh, that is, that's actually pretty good. I've seen some sh really shitty knife blocks out there. But that looks all right, actually. You're a natural, Melissa. And then once we get to level two, I think, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken, I think not we can upgrade everything in the bathroom. Oh, there's our horse sculpture. Yeah, I can see you worked really hard on that. Not hard enough to get to level two, though. Maybe I'll buy some upgrade parts just to get me ready for when I can actually start up upgrading things. Okay, I've just got a shitload of upgrade parts. So hopefully, I won't need to worry about gathering resources. Although, let's, um, let's do another knife block. Maybe we'll sell it because we need to get to handiness level two before we can upgrade even just anything. Oh yeah, handiness level two. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we don't really need a knife block, so I'm just gonna scrap it. And then we will... Oh shit, look at all these options. Okay, yeah, we'll add superior flush, uh, composting container. Well, we'll just do all of the toilet upgrades. I'm pretty sure by the time I do all this, I'll get to handiness level three anyway. What can I do to the sink? Water recycler, sturdy, sturdy faucets. Okay, okay. And I think I've also unlocked a shower upgrade. Oh, a few. Okay, so pretty much the same stuff that I can do to all three of them. And the bath as well. Okay, okay. Well, Melissa, you better get to work. If you want a throne, you can be proud of. I think as we progress through this skill, eventually we'll unlock how to make a bidet, which is like how you know you've really made it in life. When you have a bidet, yeah. When you can clean your asshole without even having to get off of the throne, you know you've done your parents proud. Ooh, we finished installing our first toilet upgrade. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking by the time we get done with the toilet, there's going to be, like, so much that I can do that I, I don't know if I'll ever catch up, but <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be fixing things even beyond the point we get to level 10. But that's fine. I've got nowhere else to be. I do want to focus mostly on upgrading things, but in case you were curious as to what you unlock workbench-wise, you can now do the bar stool, garden pot, and garden planter. No thanks, welcome wagon. I'm busy. Busy working girl. Yeah, you don't unlock any new sculptures, but you do get those three options at handiness level two. Just in case you were curious, I'll keep you updated as we progress through the skill. I almost feel like handiness has got like actual handiness and woodworking clumped into one. This might be one of my favorite skills because there are so many options. So many different ways you can build this. I'm not too focused on woodworking because when I did my sister wives challenge, I had my main sim use woodworking as his like primary source of income. And he in no time maxed out the handiness skill without ever touching a wrench in his life. Is this the last upgrade we're doing? Yes, I think so. And just as we reach level three, we can now find rare parts when salvaging. 
And we can carve a few more sculptures. Okay, so I don't think we've unlocked any more upgrades. We have unlocked the mirror and a few new sculptures, the bunny, dragon, and the elephant. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think I want to focus on just upgrading things, though. <gasps> Level four handiness skill to add a bidet. Oh, okay, so I think we have done everything we can on the toilet. Now we will do the sink. We'll do all three upgrades on the sink. I quite like as well that all of the upgrade options are relevant to the rooms they'd be in, you know? Like right now, all of my work is going to take place in the bathroom. There's no need for me to leave. And I'm pretty sure further down the line when we unlock the ability to upgrade appliances, they're all kitchen appliances as well. So it's like you can slowly upgrade your entire house room by room. You know, there's something about that I quite like. There's something about that that reminds me of, you know, one of those house flipper shows. Get in there, girl. Don't be shy. Put you back into it. So what does my toilet have? It's got a better flush, which reduces how often it will clog. Okay, great. A composting container makes this toilet use less water and produce flammable compost. Just be sure to install an insect farm or things could get toasty. Oh, okay. And then this one reduces my water bills, I guess. Wait, what does this mean though? Install an insect farm. Well, how the fuck do I do that? Oh, insect biofuel. And I need an insect bio-filled can. Well, I didn't see that as an option under stuff that I can order. Unless they've given me more options now under upgrade parts, but I don't, I don't think so. Fuck, no. They have not. Oh well, I may as well restock on these upgrade parts. Oh, I don't know how to get the insect farm though. This is stressing me out more than it should. I just don't want the toilet to blow up. I think this might be a job for Google. Okay, I think I need an insect farm, which isn't exactly like Einstein, the toilet told me that ages ago, but now finally I've decided to listen. Okay, but where can I put it? Where should I put my insect farm? Maybe we could put it on our bedside table? Oh no, this is not going to fit on my bedside table, not a chance, I'll have to put it outside. Okay, I'll stick it by the bin. Okay, let's farm some grubs. And now I believe our sink should be fully upgraded. Okay, that's good. Yeah, this one needs insect biofuel as well, so this is going to be handy. All right, yeah, we've done all of the upgrades we can do at our level on the sink. Now let's move on to the shower. Did you put some bugs in there? They're well fed, not ready. Okay, great, great. Oh, that's what they are? Oh, gross. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to insult your, your look you've got going on there, but fucking hell. It's fine, we'll just, we'll keep them away from any mirrors. Oh, we're almost at handiness level four. So close, so close. I think once we get to level four, we can add another upgrade to all of our plumbing to make them self-cleaning. We do also unlock a fireplace upgrade, but we don't have a fireplace, so. She can now perform advanced upgrades on plumbing objects. She can also craft end tables at the woodworking table. Okay, cool, cool, thanks very much. Okay, so I think we seem to have unlocked clean coat and self-cleaning. <gasps> we can add a bidet! Okay, that's first on the list, the bidet, self-cleaning. Then we'll add a soap dispenser on our sink, self-cleaning. Oh, we are banging out these skill points, one after the other. I feel like this is probably visually quite boring, but this is, it, it's really satisfying for me to watch. Some would claim a bidet is more hygienic. <laughs> Only some. All right, we're going to have to try this bidet. Once we're finished with the sink, we're going to take this baby for a, a spin. And I hope it gives me a mood buff. Oh, level five of the handiness skill. Melissa's chance of electrocution while repairing is now lower. She can also perform basic upgrades on kitchen objects, craft large sculptures at the woodworking table, and brag about handiness to other skills. To, o to other sims. Well, we can also do a wall mirror now. I think, with the woodworking table. So we can do more sculptures and a mirror. I think though, yeah, I think we're done with plumbing, but I'm still gonna go around and finish upgrading everything in the bathroom, just so that's peace of mind, that's done, before we start working on the kitchen. There are some things that you can upgrade that we just don't own, and I don't really see much point in owning because they don't belong in every Sims house. Like there are upgrades for the, cons the observatory, the telescope and the the motion gaming pad, but I'm not really going to bother with those because th those are items you don't really see in many Sims houses. We're just going to do the basic home upgrades, you know, increase the value of our property. What kind of upgrades do we get with the shower? 
self-wool coating, pulsating massage jets. Oh, shower, you filthy slut. Also, we installed a soap dispenser, but it's not like, I can't see it. Would it have really been too much trouble to have added a soap dispenser after performing that interaction? Would it really? Right, let's take this, wait, 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 we gotta take this toilet for a test drive. Oh, look at that, she's thrilled. You enjoying your bidet? Ah, oh, that was over before it began, really. Right, we gotta add some of these, um, these pulsating massage jets. We gotta get that going. The bath so far hasn't had any upgrades, but you know what? I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna save that for when I really need to build the skill and I've got fuck all to do. Then I'll work on the bath. But the toilet has had everything. The sink, everything. And by the time we get done with this bitch of a shower, she will have had everything as well. That's right, shower, I'm gonna do everything to you. So yeah, I think when we're finished upgrading the shower, we're just gonna move over, move on to the kitchen. Now, what do we have that we can upgrade? I think we've got the tea brewer, uh, which I cannot upgrade yet. The stove. Got a few options on the stove. Three options. Okay, okay. Well, I may as well make a start and start queuing some of these up. Uh, microwave. One upgrade on the microwave. All right, what about the fridge? Tell me. What can I do to the fridge? Reinforced door, fuel cell. Okay, so three upgrades for the fridge. How are my little disgustings getting along? Still not ready. Okay. I think they build you up so that you've got, like, your schoolboy stuff, which is plumbing. Then you move on to the more challenging area of the home, the kitchen. And then I think for the grand finale, you start working on electronics, a.k.a. TV and radio. Or TV and stereo, I should say. Part of me is kind of wishing I gave her a kid now, actually, because I just noticed at handiness level 10 you unlock the adorable ability to mentor other sims and improve their handiness skill. Which is quite a sweet idea, really. I can imagine, like, a sim, like a parent sim, teaching their kid how to be handy around the house for when they move out and get a place of their own. All right, now to work on the kitchen. We've almost got to handiness level six, and we haven't even... Yeah, we've just got to handiness level six. We haven't even done everything... done anything we unlock at level five. Oh, we're using an electronic part this time. Oh, shit. This must be the fuel cell upgrade. We'll no longer require power and we'll burn refillable fuel. And then, okay, so the coated exterior just keeps it clean for longer, and then upgrading energy efficiency, so it's just gonna cost me less with my bills. Okay, okay. Well, what do the fridge upgrades do? Makes it break less often, we'll no longer use power, but we'll burn refillable fuel, and then this one's gonna save me money. Okay, ah. coo, coo. Happy story all around then. Well, I see you're working on the microwave. Does that mean the oven is completely yeah, we've done everything for the oh, no. oven that we can do. Okay, great, great. Oh, microwave vision. Fixing me up nice. So this is what the microwave sees every day. Quite a nice view, actually. Right, I think we're done with... Yeah, we only got one upgrade for the microwave, so I think we're pretty much done on that front. Little bit of fridge view, shall we? So this is the view from the fridge. This is what it looks like when you get up close and personal with your refrigerated items. I see we went for a Chinese a few days ago. Got some milk in here. What is that, a cupcake with a strawberry on it? Can I go down to the other levels? Oh yeah, I can, okay. Even more Chinese, okay. That looks like it's a cake. A few cans, orange juice. Apples on the bottom shelf. Yeah, we put our fruit at the bottom priority. Oh, is that a box of pizza? I must have missed that. Oh, also, handiness level skill. You also now unlock the dining chair and dining table. Yeah. In case you were wondering about that. Level 7. Melissa can now upgrade plumbing objects twice as fast. She can also perform advanced upgrades on kitchen objects. Well, I think we've unlocked self-cleaning. Oh, and a heat sensor as well. Food should come out higher quality. Okay. Do we have any upgrade? Yeah, we've got the flavor enhancer and self-cleaning to the microwave as well. What about the refrigerator? What what unlocks have we got for this one? Oh, Fresh Maker makes better meals. So if we have the fresh meals from the fridge and also the better quality from the oven, all of our food is going to be excellent. We also have Fridge of Steel. Okay, so it's unbreakable at that point. All right, cool, cool. Well, I'm glad I saved my bath because I'll be able to see how quickly she can upgrade it if she can do it twice as fast now, apparently. And I think at level eight, we we move on from the kitchen. We move on to our TV and our stereo. 
Also, what have I unlocked at level seven? I don't know what I've unlocked, actually, with the woodworking table. Apparently, I've unlocked a campus mascot structure, but I don't really know what that is. All right, sweet. My stove has every single upgrade possible, as does my microwave. Yeah, got everything, got everything. And my fridge is the most upgraded fridge in the land. Okay, well, now I'm going to see if I can finally do this bath, if I can do it twice as fast now. We'll just do the bath bit by bit, I think. I've definitely seen a noticeable difference in how quickly we're getting this done. I wonder if the bath comes with any fancy upgrades, like water jets or anything. No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. No point taking a bath then. Level 8. Melissa can now perform basic upgrade on electronic objects. She can also craft an instrument at the woodworking table, provided that she's skill level 8 at playing that instrument. Oh, I didn't realise that. I didn't realise... So I knew that you could craft, uh, like, a child's violin and a guitar. But I didn't realise you'd need to have the actual skill in that instrument to do so. That seems kind of silly to me. Because what if you were, like, crafting it as a gift for someone else? Okay, I'm going to finish upgrading this bath, and then we're going to move on to the electronics. I think there's also, I think you can also upgrade the gaming console as well. So far, all we can do to the stereo is give it better components, so we'll do that. What can we do to the TV? Okay, better components, energy efficient, and then re burning refillable fuel. Oh, at level 9 I can get super reception. Oh, okay. Alright, sweet! My bathroom is now fully upgraded in every way, shape, or f shape and form. Oh, this is good news. Okay, and then once you get done with the stereo, we will... We'll do the few upgrades we can do on the TV. Also, we have, um... We've got a sink in the kitchen that we haven't touched, so I would quite like to eventually get around to doing that. Oh, and I can do the coffee machine now! I can add an infuser and self-cleaning. Oh, we've got to do that. How are my bugs getting along? Oh, collection is ready, apparently. Okay, well then when you finish that long queue, that long list of jobs to do, we'll go and collect the stuff from the insect and we'll refill all of the stuff that needs to be refilled, which is, I think, everything in the bathroom. Yeah. Starting to get mental fog. Oh dear. That's not great. So, so far, all we've actually done to the stereo is decrease the chances of it breaking. Oh, the TV is done. Oh, we've ran out of upgrade parts. Okay, that's fine. We'll order some more. Also, I've just noticed we can upgrade the computer as well. Have we done everything, then, we need to do for the TV? Yeah, we've got the fuel cell, energy efficient, better components. But then I think at the next level we can do the final upgrades on the TV and the final upgrades on the radio. I'm guessing we've already unlocked computer upgrades because it's an electronic, isn't it? So, yeah, okay, we have three options. Well, then in that case... I might just do my computer upgrades next. She is just absolutely powering through all of these. She's doing them so quickly. I mean, we're only 30% through level 8, and we've already fully upgraded, like, the two main electronics in the house. I'm going to run out of things to upgrade soon. I might have to buy a games console. But when we're done with the computer, I'm just going to quickly upgrade the sink. Because I don't like having things in the house that can be upgraded but haven't been. So I'm pretty sure I know now the fuel cell and energy efficient. What does the ECC RAM do? We'll reduce the chance of the computer breaking. Oh, that's a really handy one. Computers break all the fucking time in this game. All right, I think the computer is done. Yeah, pretty much everything we can do, we've done. So we'll just fully upgrade the sink. And then I might buy a games console, just so we can get the most out of the electronic upgrade stuff. We've nearly finished the final upgrade on the sink. Oh, this makes me very happy. That means that everything in this house that can possibly be upgraded has been upgraded as much as it can be according to our skill level. Oh, that makes me so happy. Right, let's get a gaming console. I'm assuming that you can do upgrades on a gaming console. I mean, it'd be a bit silly if you couldn't. We'll get this one. Okay, yes, I can upgrade the console. Install wireless display override. Tighten up the graphics, unbreakable upgrade. Okay, we'll we'll just do all three. Maybe by the time we finish with the game console, we will have be we would get to handiness level nine. At level nine as well, in terms of woodworking, you unlock the bathtub. So this device can take control over the display of nearby video screens. But it does anyway. 
Maybe it can do like more than one at the same time. Oh, I think I might have to get some more upgradable items. Or maybe I'll practice some woodworking. Because I don't really have anything else to upgrade now. Uh, let's craft. We'll craft a dining table. Sell it on. Make a little bit of income from our handiness. Why not? Been a while since we've been doing some woodworking, isn't it? Nice to indulge ourselves every once in a while. Level 9. Okay, we can perform advanced upgrades on electronic objects. And also craft tubs on the woodworking table. Funnily enough, once we max out the um, handiness skill, we're able to craft a toilet on the woodworking table. Right, so now we can do super reception and phyrexian wiring. Nothing else on the gaming console, but I can do super reception, so I can do the same things on the stereo. I'm guessing no extra upgrades on any of the kitchen appliances. No, still the same. But what about the computer? Better video card and IP spoofer. Oh, that will come in handy. IP spoofer. We've got to get one of those. So I think we actually unlock new TV channels with uh, Super Reception. We're already 60% complete of Handiness Level 9. And all we've upgraded so far is the TV. Oh, I think we've ran out of parts again. All right, let's try that again. I think we have one more, yeah, the wiring still to do on the stereo. And then we'll do the IP spoof and the, the video card. You watching the cooking channel? Yeah, leave the TV on in the background, actually. I want to see if we get any new channels. Or I wonder if one will pop up. Dream Home Decorator Network. That seems like a fairly new channel. I don't remember seeing that before. Brainchild Learning. Sitcom Central. I don't really watch um, the TV very often, so I can't tell which, which of these are new channels or whether any of them are. I don't know, though. I feel like some of them are new. Some of them I don't remember seeing before. We've reached the max level in handiness. Oh, wait, I missed that pop-up. What did it say? Melissa will always find rare parts from salvage and can craft toilets at the woodworking table. She can also upgrade kitchen appliances twice as fast as before and mentor other sims in handiness. Oh, we did it, Melissa. We did it. But before I let you finish up, I'm, I'm going to get you to finish upgrading the computer. I want everything in this house to be fully upgraded. Oh, she's... Gaining some cooking skill from having the cooking channel on in the background. <laughs> the computer upgrades seem to take a little bit longer than the other upgrades do. Which I guess makes sense. Just finishing up our video card. Okay, and now we're on to our very last upgrade of the video. The IP spoofer. I've had a great time. I've actually really enjoyed this skill. This might be one of, one of my favourite skills. These videos have kind of surprised me, because I thought, if anything, the parenting one would be my favourite, but that one turned out to be really boring. And I think the handiness one is actually a really enjoyable skill to build up. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.